Ventura TV Appliance Center. We're the low price leading brands reliable advice place. The Whirlpool Dream Kitchen Get Yours Today Place. Check this out. Right now, get huge savings on select Whirlpool appliances and pay no interest when paid in full within six months. At the hometown low price, think outside the big box place. Since 1951, Ventura TV Appliance Center, we're working hard to be your place. I'm John Malos. On today's show on Connect With Me, saving thousands and thousands of photos from the Poplavalk Foundation. How are we going to save them? Well, I don't know. Our guest today is going to be Joe Conway from the Poplavalk Foundation. These photos are rare. They show the history of California and the Central Valley for more than 50 years. We'll talk to Joe coming up in just a moment. Live from the showroom floor at Ventura TV, I'm John Mallows, your host and producer of Connect With Me on Me TV. That would be Comcast Channel 187 and 43.6 with an antenna. And if you want the telephone number so you can call in on today's show, it's 265-4331. That's 265-4331, area code 559. And a very interesting topic today, we're going to get a status report from Joe Conway of the Pop Laval Foundation and the gallery that's located at Fryant in northwest Fresno. These are just photos, a rare collection of photos that was taken over a 56 year period by Pop Laval. Now, who was Pop Laval? Well, we're going to show you. Do you want to see a picture of him in action? There he is. Pop Laval moved to California at the turn of the century. That was the last century, back in 1900 or so. And he began shooting photos of anything and everything that moved in the Central Valley and also from Stockton all the way down to Bakersfield. If it was an event that needed to be captured on film, Pop Laval was there. If it was an accident, a sporting event, a political showdown of some kind, Pop Laval was there with his camera or cameras to record history in the making. The gallery, there it is, Fort uh, Washington in North Fresno. If you walk into the gallery, you will see giant sized photos hanging from the rafters. Each and every one of them was taken by Pop Laval, no doubt about it. But thousands and thousands of photos are now on the verge of being lost, lost forever unless they're saved and reproduced. On today's program, we're going to talk to Joe Conway. He is from the Pop Laval Foundation. He's going to give us a status report, where they stand money-wise, where they stand with the photos, how many are left to be saved, how many have they saved so far, what can you do to help? 265-4331 is the number here on Connect With Me. Back with Joe Conway in just a moment. Ventura TV Appliance Center. We're the save energy, save time, save money place. The Energy Star qualified, ready, steam equipped, high efficiency Frigidaire Affinity Place. You heard right. Right now, save big on select Frigidaire laundry pairs and pay no interest when paid in full within six months. At the hometown low price, think outside the big box place. Since 1951, Ventura TV Appliance Center, we're working hard to be your place. Welcome back to Connect With Me. I'm John Mallows here on this Wednesday morning here on uh, Me TV Fresno, Comcast 187 and 43.6 from the showroom floor at Ventura TV. And we're talking about the Pop Laval Foundation and those rare photos. Joe Conway is my guest. Joe, welcome to the program. Thank you, John. All right. Now, what's your title over there at the uh, Vice foundation? President of the Foundation. Oh, boy. 501c3. So, wow. So. Give us a status report on the photos. You got more than 100,000 that Pop Laval shot between 1910 and 1966. Is that correct? That's correct. Wow. And so how many of those photos have you saved up to this point? Of the 100,000 that are shown in the ledgers and of the ones that are uh, redeemable and savable, we've saved about 12,000. And of those, 
we have restored to their original condition about 12, oh, 6,000 perhaps. Okay, so that leaves roughly 88,000 photos that are in what kind of condition? Many of them are in very salvageable condition. He'd used two different uh, film negative uh, substrates. One is glass, of course that one is surviving the best. The other cellulose and the other cellulose nitrate, which is the most uh, fragile of all, and it is the one that suffered the most damage, and that's the one we're trying to save. Yeah, let's take a look at that, because we have some video now of Wonderful. the negatives, and you can explain what we're looking at, what you're talking about, trying to save those negatives. Um, explain, you know, the process and all of that as, as uh, we will take a look at those in just a moment here. Okay. If we can call that up, that would be great. What you're going to be seeing, of course, originally is... There they are, Joe. Perfect. Oh my gosh, this is a cellulose nitrate substrate that was used in the 20s and 30s. These have been remastered by Hollywood and by everyone else who's ever had any of them. We have probably the only existing group of these things that uh, needs to be saved. And we have about 15,000. What's wrong with that negative there? That one went through a fire and uh, several negatives are few. So we're unable to flatbed scan them into a digital storage. All right, there's the glass negative you're talking uh, about. This is the wonderful glass negatives. These things are priceless artifacts and they belong in a museum and they will be there eventually. We scan them on a flatbed scanner, we save them on a digital format, and then we blow them up to a size that we can clean them and restore each pixel if need be. Okay. Now, let's get How do you how do you save the ne the first negative that we saw? How do you save that one, Joe? That one would be unsavable. If we had one that was not fused or was not damaged through a burn, we would put it on a flatbed scanner. We would scan it to a digital storage device. Why is that one that we saw in the video there, why is that not salvageable? Because it has been fused together and pieces of it are missing. So there's really not enough there to rebuild from. And it also looks like maybe two negatives stuck together. He had a fire in 1964. Right, And so right. that and water damage is what's done this. What would be the cost to try to restore something like that if you could? We, we can simply, well for restoration is different than just saving it. Saving these to a digital format from which they can be restored eventually, it's about a thousand dollars will save 50 of them. That's what it would cost to put them so on digital So if you want to save format. 50 of these photographs, it's about how much? About a thousand dollars. About a thousand dollars. Yes. Okay, and if you want them restored... Now it depends on the damage done to them. It, a good restoration will run uh, at about 200 minimum dollars per hour. Okay, now you had gotten, your foundation had gotten some grants in the past, right? Yes, we have. Where do you stand with that now? How many grants did you get in the past? We have had uh, several. One most recent one was from the California uh, State Library. For them, we restored and provided to them for the California Digital website 1,200 of Pops pictures. What, how much money did they provide? They provided a $50,000 grant. Right. And that uh, was, you know, spent to do to do the restoration and uh, the scanning. And now we're done with that, and we're moving on to another. We, what about getting a federal grant? We have, we have applied innumerable times. The National Endowment for the Arts. Uh, chairman was out this summer, was in our gallery. They've been asked and they've been directed to provide federal funds more to the West Coast than they have done in the past. We just submitted... Well, we've got people in office. You've got I Devin know. Nunes yes. in office. Have, we have, have you called a, his office? We have had a great amount of help from uh, Congressman Costa. He loves okay. this valley. He loves everything about the valley. Yeah, yeah, and he yeah. particularly loves this collection. Right. And he's not been able to make any headway? Unfortunately, and I think he's he's probably uh, rather unhappy because we just had t been turned down last month by the National Endowment for Humanities for a grant to save that particular portion of the collection. He wrote a note and he personally made a phone call on behalf. How much money would you guesstimate that it's going to take to save this whole collection and restore it? Overall, it would be well over a million to two million dollars, but now we're looking at a multi-decade project and it would have to be uh, for immediate times to get everything saved that we have that we know is savable to a digital format without the restoration portion, but just for that. We're looking in a neighborhood of about 200 to $225,000.
Yeah. And we're looking at several years just to do nothing but scanning. Want to take a look at another piece of video? Oh, yes. A rare piece of video? I mean, these are photos. Uh, Babe Ruth was in the Central Valley. You got to look at this because I'm a Babe Ruth fan. I just love the guy. There it is right there. He was in Fresno what year? 1927. They were he and Lou Gehrig on the far left and Father Crowley in the middle. They were here celebrating uh, a tour around the country of the 1927 Yankees, the greatest Yankee team. It's <laughs> amazing. They won the World yeah, Series. Yeah, they won the World Series in 1927, yes. and they, they took this trip across the country, came here to Fresno, had a banquet, they an had, exhibition game. They had an exhibition game in which they played out at Fireman and Policeman's Baseball Stadium at the fairgrounds. And there we go with... Uh, well, what are we looking at here? <laughs> uh, this is Earl Cooper, a very, very famous race driver who always drove number eight. Now, how he ended up number seven, I don't know. <laughs> Herndon and uh, this is where the sign was, and 99. And uh, th this was just a, a bit of uh, clowning around, as we can guess. Yeah, oh, my goodness. and what's this here? This is one of over 1,500 pictures we have of Balch Camp Power Plant being built. And the San Joaquin Light and Power hired a group of ladies to go there and to show that you could recreate and still have commercial development. About what year was that? It was 1926. Jeez, and, and exactly where was that? This was at the power plant there at the Balch Camp for Powerhouse okay. number one. And this is the, and the beauty of this, as you can see, my goodness, the construction was so much different in those days. Rebar sticking everywhere, mm -hmm. and the guys have new hard hats, and uh, they're just enjoying life. But what about what about Babe Ruth, though? I mean, let's get uh, back to him. We didn't talk enough about Babe, and Lou Gehrig yes, comes with him. Yes. I mean, uh, they, and are there still some people alive that were in that photo? There was a man in Kingsburg. We were on this. We had a road show going for oh, six years ago. We were out doing these and showing these pictures, and. This gentleman came out of the audience in Kingsburg and said, that's me right there. Mm -hmm. So Paula Lloyd was doing a one-year series on the collection. She put from this information from Fres the Pop Laval collection okay. in Fresno B. Right. Yes. And so we put the fact in there that this was this gentleman. And another man eventually claimed, no, that was my <laughs> uncle. No one has a baseball to prove who they were. Maybe they gave away more than one that day. I would have given anything to be in that photo or just just meet the babe and Lou Gehrig, the iron horse. Unbelievable. Anyway, Joe, we got to take a quick time out. We're going to be back with more of Joe Conway and the Pop Laval Foundation. Amazing photos, more than 100,000 that need to be saved and restored. More on Connect With Me in just a moment. We're the save energy, save time, save money place. The Energy Star qualified number one rated high efficiency cabrio from Whirlpool Place. You heard right. Right now, save big on select Whirlpool cabrio laundry pairs and pay no interest when paid in full within six months. At the hometown low price, think outside the big box place. Since 1951, Ventura TV Appliance Center, we're working hard to be your place. Welcome back to Connect With Me. I'm John Mallows here on this Wednesday morning, Arts and Culture Day, and we're talking about the Pop Laval collection, more than 100,000 photos. Uh, if you'd like to call in and ask a Joe Conway a question or even donate some money to try to save this collection, it's 265-4331. We'll be glad to take your phone call. And Joe, it's good to have you along here. We've got uh, some more photos and videos to look at because this collection, I mean, Let's face it, from Bakersfield all the way to Stockton, Pop Laval hopped in, what, a car, a wagon to, to go to various locations and take these photos. Is that correct? In a car. In a car, not around, a wagon. Around town, he even <laughs> used a bicycle. <laughs> okay. And, and particularly in the mountains, he used pack trains, and he mm. loved the mountains, and he took thousands upon thousands of pictures, uh, movies even, restocking the trout in the mountain, in the lakes, up the Kings Canyon, and he went in before there was any roads at all, just deer trails. Well, you know, instead of sitting here talking about it, why don't we look at some more photos? Let's uh, roll some more tape here and look at some rare photos shot by Pop Laval between 1910 and 1966. That's the better part of 56 years, and there you go, Joe. Fresno and Take Van it away. And this is Fresno and Van Ness Street, and that is the early traffic light version 
And this man, this policeman, spun that sign around to move people around. And look he's, at an, how, he's an he's uh, an uh, early century traffic cop. Early century. And look how well <laughs> the people are dressed. Hats, coats. Fresno was one of. This is Fulton Street. It was J Street at the time. Is that a cable car? I'm looking. Oh at? my God! You're looking at about six of them there. Jeez. And uh, this, of course, Mariposa and Fulton, where the mall is now. Now, why does I say was Sean there? Is that, that was where? the destination of that? Okay. Okay, and there's kind of a similar shot of Fulton, right? Similar shot, very much so, yes, yes, just tighter. And this, you will see, Fresno was one of three dominant towns in California for the first half of the 20th century. What hotel is this? This, Well, this was the Helm Building. It was a Griffin McKenzie at the time. And mm -hmm. a, a lady came in one day and she says, that's my family's building. Another I wonder lady, who that is. Another lady uh, came and she identified some of the people hanging out the window as her family members. Water Tower, oh my gosh. This is a beautiful, beautiful place, and people. What this, year was that? Was that taken? Oh my goodness! This was about 1929, I think. 28, 29. Rare story about this photo here. Oh, 1915 World Series at the uh, Helm Building. This crowd together. This is their version of a sports bar, and they <laughs> were getting the score via telegraph. Anna Woodward. This is in front of. It was in front of the old courthouse, which is behind here. Of course, Anna Woodward is now around the corner there. And uh, a man told me one day that he was a deputy sheriff and he went through that door every day as a deputy sheriff on the swing shift. And the first job they had was to tighten the screws down that held the building together. Mm -hmm. Pretty amazing stuff, Joe. <laughs> Pretty amazing. So more about Pop Laval now. He used to hop on his bike in a car. Yes. And how would he find out if something happened in Merced, in Bakersfield? How would he find out about it? He was it? a commercial photographer. People hired him. They contacted him. Almost every picture you what see. What was the uh, what was the vehicle used to contact him? Oh, telephones. Okay. Uh, oh yes, they had. Uh, they had but early in version. 1912. Well, he didn't do that much away during in, in that period of time. Okay. And then the reputation began to take on and spread. And then he began to do commercial jobs, and yeah. uh, it, he did a lot of things that we don't even think about today. Automobile accidents. He went out and he filmed those. Wills. He filmed stuff like that. Legal documents. He filmed, and. The, one of the things that does give us a little bit of problem is that he knew who the people were that he took the picture for and paid him. They knew who they were, and that was the end of that. So we have only a brief description. So people will come and ask us, do you have a picture of a certain building? We'll say, ah, well, what street was it on? And then we'll look down Fulton Street, and we may see Arthur's Toy Store in its original location, but we don't know that because we don't have that information. Why did he do it? To pay the bills. This is how he... He was like a horse trader. If he didn't trade a horse today, he didn't eat tonight, basically. So he was feeding the family, and that was the whole thrust. And he had a good eye. And he, we have not seen one picture that had a person with their eyes closed. This was a difficult thing to do, too, because he didn't get another shot with those cameras. What about the cameras that he used, and how many did he use? Oh. What types of cameras did he use back then in the early days? He, well, he had a hand built for it. one example, which he used out the door of an airplane or from a balloon and it's a great monstrosity and a clunky thing that's just beautifully well hand built though the rest of them were made like swiss watches wooden a camera shell with brass gears in them and uh, they're each a unique piece of gear these were hand built right we have that piece of video uh of pop laval we've got the picture let's roll that again and see uh what he looks like with his cameras because it is a rare photo there he is right there yes. pop laval right yes oh yes that's him now wh what are the are those tripods oh my goodness yes and he packed these kinds of things into the mountains so at one point he had a thousand pounds on a pack train with horses and mules going into the mountains for a job he, he only went for work Mm -hmm. And there's your gallery. There it is. The one thing you can say about Pop Laval's pictures, unlike any that we have known, is that people are in them. People doing people things. And we like to say, there he is. This is what America looked like when it was being invented across the first half of the, of the, uh, of the last century. That's inside your gallery there. And yes. those giant photos that hang from the rafters. Uh, how do you get those big blow ups like that? We have them professionally done. Elizabeth prepares the artwork, and then it goes to uh, ProScreen, mm -hmm. in fact. Uh, very, very, very good people. Yeah. Now, Elizabeth is the great-granddaughter. Elizabeth is the great-granddaughter. She and I formed this team about eight years ago. Yeah. All right. We've been at the fair nine years with these big pictures. Okay. Joe, got to take a quick time out again. We're back with more on Connect With Me and Joe Conway of the 
Pop Laval Foundation. Thousands and thousands upon thousands of photos trying to be saved. Back in a moment. Ventura TV Appliance Center. We're the low price leading brands reliable advice place. The Frigidaire Gallery Dream Kitchen Get Yours Today Place. You with me? Right now get huge savings on select Frigidaire Gallery appliances and pay no interest when paid in full within six months at the hometown low price think outside the big box place. Since 1951, Ventura TV Appliance Center, we're working hard to be your place. 8765432 Warning, warning, danger, danger. A strange world is on me TV. A world somehow like ours, but of incredible darkness and fear. What is the show called? It has been called many different names by many different cultures. Oh, I know. It's called Lost in Space. Saturday at 8, 7 Central on me TV. Ventura TV Appliance Center. We're the low price leading brands reliable advice place. The Whirlpool Dream Kitchen Get Yours Today Place. Check this out. Right now get huge savings on select Whirlpool appliances and pay no interest when paid in full within six months. At the hometown low price think outside the big box place. Since 1951 Ventura TV Appliance Center. We're working hard to be your place. Me TV Fresno now on Comcast Channel 187. I'm John Mallows here with Hector Coronado, and we are going to try to explain to our Connect with Me viewers about this dishwasher here. Talk about it, Hector. Uh, this is the made. Uh, this is our Maytag dishwasher. It's uh, it's uh, one of the best uh, cleaning units available right now. And the biggest thing about this unit, at least from what I've heard, is that it's very quiet. And that's very important to me because a lot of times I have to crank up the TV in my house just to hear it if the dishwasher is on. What's the quietness? What's the specialty about this uh, um, dishwasher here? It is a very quiet unit, and the reason it's quiet is it's well insulated. So, yeah, if you're at home and you're you know watching TV or you've got things to do and, and your old dishwasher is very loud, this new unit is going to be a very quiet unit. You can hardly hear it, even if you're at home during the day. So is the insulation the key here to, to the quietness? It's one of the features, but the, uh, the other reason why it's so quiet is because it has a stainless steel interior, so that makes it even a quieter unit. Right. And uh, stainless steel, does that mean it'll get your dishes cleaner? Uh, no, but it, it does. Uh, having a stainless interior actually helps uh, dry a little faster. And uh, when you have stainless, it doesn't hold the rust. It doesn't hold the odors, just like Tupperware would if you put spaghetti in it. And it'll last longer. It does last a lot longer. And it's, it's a great cleaning unit, great cleaning unit. What about in terms of energy saving? You know, in this day and age, I'm looking at my PG&E bill. I want to save some money. Now, your newer, uh, wa uh, your newer dishwashers are going to run a little bit longer, but they are more efficient. And nowadays, you're between three gallons, almost four gallons of water in use on a full load. Okay. And what about the price on this one? The price on this unit is usually about five forty nine. It is at five forty nine, and right now we have it on special at four forty nine. And for our viewers out there, we're going to give you the dishwasher kit, and we're also going to give you a 10-year warranty on the motor, which is the heart of the unit. For how much? Uh, the, it's, it's free. It's about $100 value, and it's going to be given free from now till tomorrow noon to our Connect and MeTV viewers. For what price? Uh, we're doing this at $449 okay. with a 10-year motor warranty and your free dishwasher kit. Okay, let's hold up the free dishwasher. There you go. Uh, what, what does the kit involve? Uh, the kit has the, it, it's got the water line, it's got the fittings, it's got your electrical cord, it's got everything you need to install the new dishwasher because maybe the old dishwasher, the fittings are not exactly the same. Okay, and how does Ventura TV do it day in and day out? Uh, we have a great buying power with uh, our uh, MemberNet um, people that we work with. Uh, we get everything uh, at a really great price, so we turn the savings over to our customers and everybody gets a great deal quickly 449 the other box stores are selling it for it's exactly at about 549 uh, right now we have it at 449 and then of course you're gonna get the kit and you're gonna get the 10-year warranty which is you know it's an awesome deal 
All right, Hector, pleasure to see you. Good to talk to you about this thing here, this dishwasher of beauty. Good until noon tomorrow for our Connect With Me viewers. By the way, you want to know how to get the Ventura TV? Very simple. Ten minutes from River Park on 41. Ten minutes from Clovis on 168. You can also catch us uh, if you're coming off the 99 freeway. We're close to just about every location in the city of Fresno in the Central Valley. Back with more of Joe Conway's interview on the Pop Laval Foundation and the photos in just a moment. Sunday night. Let's move. A perfect night for crime. A perfect night for me. You've got to help me. Me TV, that is. With detectives. My name is Gunn. Fugitives. I didn't kill her. Guns. Sir. This is the Twilight Zone. And much, much more. You'll go along with that, won't you? Sunday Night Noir, starting at 10, 9 Central on MeTV. Ventura TV Appliance Center. We're the save energy, save time, save money place. The Energy Star qualified, ready, steam equipped, high efficiency Frigidaire Affinity Place. You heard right. Right now, save big on select Frigidaire laundry pairs and pay no interest when paid in full within six months. At the hometown low price, think outside the big box place. Since 1951, Ventura TV Appliance Center, we're working hard to be your place. Welcome back to Connect With Me. I'm John Malos uh, on this Wednesday morning, Arts and Culture Day, and back with Joe Conway of the Pop Laval Foundation. I appreciate you being here. Let me ask you, Joe, why is it, in your opinion, that more people haven't come forward to try to save this collection, which, is it's you can't replace any of these photos once they're gone they're gone there's a mistaken belief that uh, someone else will come forward and and during these times from 08 forward it's been very difficult to raise any kind of money what we need and what we have tried to do is involve everyone we even have a program we call it the six bit solution it's 75 cents a day and with that 20 bucks a month enough people could help keep this thing really rolling well or we're also continuously trying to find that one big donor. You have a website, what is it? poplavalfoundation.org, O-R-G, and there's 2,500 pictures up on that. There are, you can order them, you can order merchandise, uh, you can call us, a good number would be my personal number, 559-217, Two nine five six. Okay, let's see if we can get Alex maybe to put up that video one more time of those negatives so we can see the damage that you're talking <clears throat> about yeah. and uh, the restoration project and trying to save them is one. The second phase of that is trying to restore them. That's the negative we're talking about. And you're talking about damage. That is the damage that you're trying to explain to, to us that you face day in and day out with thousands of photos. Exactly, and we have volunteers who are doing the work of scanning these into our multi-multi-terabyte servers to keep them now in a form that we can use for years and years to come. And we scan these at 3,000 DPI. Right, and that's the glass negative that you're trying to save too, and you have many of these, thousands mm -hmm. of these as well. But uh, we're quickly running out of time here on Connect With Me. We've got a hard uh, out that we got to get to. Joe, come back. Thank you. Okay, Joe Conway, the Pop Laval Foundation. I'm John Malos. You've been watching Connect With Me. We're back tomorrow with more on MeTV.